Okay, everyone can just mute themselves. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. We're here today because a beautiful Tammy Ward is going to be presenting to us on how to read our scans. And I'm super excited about this, and I know all of you are as well. So um, I'm actually just going to hand it straight over and, um, yeah, bathe in Tammy's wisdom this morning. So thank you so much for being here, Tammy. And, um, okay. yeah, if everyone could just remember to mute themselves so that um, we don't have any disturbance as we go, and I'll do the same. So welcome, Tammy. Thank you so very much. Let me see if I can pull up one of my uh, PowerPoints that I made on something like this. That way it'll go a little bit easier. And if I'm not able to, then we're just going to jump right into um, how I read the reports. If I can't find, if I can't grab that, uh, presentation because it seems like when I do try to connect with a presentation and so I'm gonna hope that this works but if not I think we may just we may just jump into yeah let's just jump into the app itself and I'll show you how I take the scans and read them Tristan please amazing that's awesome um also if anyone's got any questions just pop them in the chat and i'll be checking that um as we go through as well so and i'll just throw the questions in and um i'm sure we'll have some time throughout anyway to ask tammy um questions too so please do Let me make sure that y'all can see the screen okay let's make sure y'all can see my screen to the ao scanner can you see it okay okay all right i have um uh, I have asked my family to please be quiet because I'm on it. Come on. What is this wrong with this? There we go. Can everybody see the app? I've got my boys home today too. So that's why I've told my kids also to be quiet. So we'll be together. So is everybody seeing my screen fine? The, the app? Okay. Now, as you can see, I always put myself in as a, I've got a dummy uh account for myself so that anytime we have new releases i can play in that account and then i can go do my real account and do it so it's just a little tip that i do with my team um but anyway all right so one of the things that i do every morning and i hope everybody practices this is you go to the quick scan and clear yourself before you ever do anything. I hope everybody's good on that. I know that, that Beck and Paige and everybody on your team does a very good education and that you are going and in fact clearing yourself, doing the scan, and then once you're done, shielding. So if everybody's good and clear on that, let's go to my easy scan that I did kind of late in the day um, because I was so busy this morning. So what I do is I go up here and I kind of do a skim through my report. I do the easy scan every day without fail um, unless something happens and I just haven't, I'm not able to. So I always look at what's suggested to me is an indication of what is really going through, going, going on in my body or in my client's body. Uh, so I had, a, I had a, a friend of mine that drove down from Tulsa, it was actually in a new enrollment, and we did her easy scan and everything that populated in her suggestions was very indicative of what was going on her in her system and she was very well aware. So it was pulling a lot of digestive things. So then what we saw that, I have a lot of the things that were showing up were digested, but let's look at mine. So it's telling me as a therapy, I need a sacred geometry healing. I need some traditional Chinese medicine. So there must be something going on that I might need to look into that. Bacillus anthracis, that is one of my vials that I have in my scanner. So that's letting me know that I have probably come into the energy of someone that maybe have been sick or have had this type of thing going on. Also, Frankenstein, I actually put 
it into a little can oil in it, and I burn that into uh, my 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 home, and then I also wear freak, frankincense oil. Microbiome Breakthrough is actually a microbiome powder through a company that we have access to in the United States. It is a very good powder for the microbiome. So I can tell you that I've been doing a parasite cleanse, and then I've also been taking uh, Solex X the last two nights. So this to me is an indication that I've got something going on in my microbiome. And then it tells me infinity matte blue one session unspecified, which are infinity line. And when I go to, I'll just show you in my supplements and therapies, how much I have and how much it actually had to analyze. So if I group this by category, you're going to see all of my therapies and I have over 300 therapies in here. Um, I'll scroll down. I have my morning stuff in here. I also have water in here. I have a lot of the different things that I take in morning. Perium is another company. LifeWave is another company. Mountain Rose Herbs is where I get my loose leaf powders or my, my herbal powders for my gut. Um, and it's something that I use quite a lot with my clients. Amare is another uh, company that I've gotten involved with. I like their products. And then I've got my evening in here. Um, so you get the idea. And then general is all the homeopathics, as we all know, and a few other things. Mega Food is another company, Solaray Midday. I've got my midday stuff in here. I've also got a food list in here of a lot of homeopathic or, or organic foods. I've got all my Young Living oils in here. As I get them, I add them. Um, and then I put the glasses in as their own thing. I just, it's just something that I did to see if that perhaps, you know, if I scan myself and it suggests, and, and from time to time, it will suggest glasses. Probiotics and prebiotics, I have those in a category all themselves. And then I've, I always help animals out. So I've got an animal category, healthy diets. There's several healthy diets that I have in here, detox methods. So you get the idea. My list is very exhaustive of the different things that my scanner has to kind of go through. And this lets me know that I have some things that I really need to work on. So in going in that report, we're just going to go down a little bit further and i hope that all that helps to piece together some of the things that you're seeing first let me go to the inner hey, voice and show you what was pulled up on that can so can you ask, know that you know that go ahead um i was just going to ask go ahead you've got all the different categories there when you're going in to do your easy scan you can select all the different categories can't you so are you selecting like for that one it just had the evening showing up but would you usually go in and select you know whatever you want to you know, like your herbs and your this or your that, or do you have it all in one category? I do. I will select what categories that I feel, and I'm very intuitive with my body. I tune out, tune in usually right before I do my scans, and I'll go, you know what, I'm feeling off in this area, I'm feeling off in that area. I'm going to just choose all of these different areas, and I don't choose everything all the time, uh, but if I know that I'm working on my gut, then I make sure that I choose the prebiotics, the probiotics. But I don't always do that. So, yes, I'm very picky and choosy about what I choose for it to analyze so that I don't overwhelm it. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think you can do that. Anyway, that is just my practice. Now, there are several, pe there's several ways to do this, and there's no wrong way. So don't. Don't look at mine and go, well, gee, I don't have all that. You don't have to. It's just something that I've done. And actually, I've, I've just got off the phone with Lauren, I don't know, three days ago. And we were talking about some things. And I said, you know, I, I know that in September, we've got something special coming with the supplement list. And I'm so excited. And he goes, Tammy, it's going to be so much simpler and easier, easy. So there's been some categories that I've, I've actually removed because I didn't feel a need to keep them in there. And I can't wait until I see what comes down the pike in September. I have a feeling we, we're just going to be blown away. 
That's amazing. I'm actually coming in September. I booked my flight just the other day. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I would tell you with the supplement library, don't get too exhausted with it because things are going to be changing and all of that may go away. And I don't want you putting all that hard work in there, you know, and then some of that stuff going away. But I know that I work a lot with Dr. Uh, Becky Coots. We, we go back and forth as well as Nadia. They are both, you know, in my downline and they're both practitioners on my team that I kind of collaborate with quite a bit. And they too have different ways that they set up their supplements and therapies. But Again, there's no wrong way, guys. It's all about intention, as you know. So let's jump here and look at my reports. Um, and because this is one of the first things I do. I kind of glance through my entire report. I kind of get an idea of what was suggested. And then I go to my inner voice and I really kind of go through that with a fine tooth comb. And sometimes when I'm working with clients, I will actually print off these pages. I print off these pages. I also print off the body systems pages, uh, just, just the part that has, you know, the indications. And I will do those side by side and I will make notes on when I'm working with a client because I want to see what's consistently showing up when I do that initial scan with them. So as we go through here, I always take a look at my emotions and I take a few minutes and I will release those and replace them with something that is better uh, or more positive. It's just a habit I've been into. I always take a look at my, my, my vitals. And, and I always take a look at that. And then when I go back to vitals, I make sure I, you know, just make a mental note. If I see those things pop up, I notices and suggestions. And then I look at the potential causes. Now, if I'm digging really deep, with a client or myself and there is a potential cause that comes up in any of those categories then i run that homeo energetics and kind of see what those reports say or i go a little bit further to see what things are popping up you know if you have that category up so we're going to look at mine manage stress well i've been under a lot of stress lately with the sale of the home the moving into an rv you know and then we were just here like a week you know and that's okay i mean we're doing okay it's just there's a lot of stress right now so manage stress breathe cleaner air drink alcohol in moderation now i'm not an alcohol drinker i finally i finally kicked that habit i think it's going on i think i'm going on my well i am two years in going on my third year. So I going on in my gut. So I make a mental note, increase hydration. I can tell you that hydration has been an, an issue for me, liver flush and, and liver detox program. Because I've been doing the parasite cleanse, I've been doing praziquintil, which is a little bit stronger than ivermectin. Now I realize it's it's hitting my liver hard. So it may it may be something that I need to look at doing a liver flush. I can do that. Get plenty of sleep. Well, it's been an adjustment for me. So you get the idea. I'm going to look down here. I'm going to look at this. And again, what am I seeing? I know these are all issues for me because it is something that continually shows up. My vitamin D, I have had a heck of a time getting it balanced since I went off of a vitamin D regimen. And I actually started taking our vitamin D. I, for some reason, am not balanced with our vitamin D supplement. So I know for me that that vitamin D supplement is not for me. I need to go back to what I was taking because I was more balanced. Uh, here's some more potential causes. Parasites, mold, fungus, food sensitivities. Well, I don't do a whole lot of olive oil, um, but here lately i guess maybe that's something i need to look in a little bit closer eliminate food sensitivities and then the hydrochloric acid has been something because i've had stomach stapling if i get off the hydrochloric acid then this always shows up and i will tell you i've been a little off on that i'm getting back to it but i have been a little off so it has come up. increasing me is that i've 
I'm probably in some adrenal fatigue with all the stress that I'm in because it's it's basically saying that my body is a little bit deficient, even though I've been taking them. So this is helping me to cue in. Chiropractic adjustments, I know I need because I just recently had a fall. Um, I've got something set up for next week. I'll go do that. Again, I'm going to look at these. I'm going to look at all of this. So H. pylori is showing up. Remember, I've just went through a parasite cleanse. Uh, so all of these parasites are basically showing up. Again, increase hydration. You di use digestive, chiropractic again. Increase hydration. So increase hydration was in here twice. I have been doing my best with my water today. But, you know, like yesterday, we were out all day and it was I was not good with my water. So it makes perfect sense to me that my report is saying you need to increase hydration. Um, again, chiropractic adjustments again. So we've seen it three times now in hydration three times. So um, again, chiropractic, a ch chiropractic, that's five times we've seen it. So it's evident I need to get into a chiropractor. Again, drink alcohol in moderation. So this is all giving you cues, vitamin K, B9, B12. Those are all things. I haven't been real regular on the pulse either. So now that I've kind of got a mental note of what I'm seeing in my inner voice scans, now I'm going to run over to my vital scan. And I do look at the easy scan. I just do a run through and just kind of basically look at it. Uh, but then I actually go to my full vitals because when you do your easy scan, you can actually go to your vitals and see the full vitals. That's just something I do. So I run through here and I kind of look at my food sensitivities because, again, it told me to kind of look at that. Looks like cheese and dairy is a no-no for me right now because there seems like there's more markers against me in this area than there is for me. So I might want to cut out some dairy for a while. Here's my fruits and vegetables. There's a few in there. Um, and I'll kind of glance through and see, you know, I had a banana yesterday. I had a, I had some banana this morning. I actually made pancakes, uh, organic uh, grain-free pancakes this morning for the family. I had a banana, so banana is not an issue for me. But I may look through here and see watermelon. I did cut up some watermelon, eat some this morning. And it showed up as a seven, but then it balanced out. Uh, so I just kind of run through here and I check different food sensitivities. Um, I had chicken yesterday, so that's low. It looks like I need to eat a little bit more chicken and beef is high. Now I'm going to tell you that I'm anemic um, and I know that I need the, you know, the red, the red meats, but beef is showing up as a nine. So I'll probably stay away from that. Um, um, except for the clean, clean seafood, I can do it. But if it's, you know, if it's, if it's crab or if it's lobster or if it's shrimp or any of that, those are kind of bottom feeders and those I don't do well with. So I know that about myself. Almond, um, I mean, your, your nuts are kind of high oxalates. Uh, my kidneys showed up. So I might consider pulling the oxalates out of my diet for a little while. Uh, seeds look pretty good. Spices, you know, these all have different things. Just, we know if cilantro is showing up as a double one, it might mean that you need more cilantro to pull out those heavy metals. Uh, coffee, I'm pulling coffee out of my diet. And this is showing that that's a positive sign because coffee has been like a double nine and eight and eight sometimes. So coffee is one of those things that I struggle with all the time. I'll have a cup and then I get addicted to it and I drink it for a while. And I go, what are you doing? You need to pull that out of the diet. So I end up going back and forth. It's just one of those struggles that I personally have. I like the taste of coffee, even though I know how poison it is. <laughs> I have the same thing, Tammy. I'm with you. I'm exactly there. Yeah. When I come off it, I feel great. And then I get sucked back in again. I hear you. Yep. You know, and there's there's other coffees out there that you can get, but it's like, uh, now I got to place it online and order that way. You know, I'm just being in hot teas because I did so much better on those. So I always look at these vegetables and things. Broccoli, you know, the the carcif or the 
cruciferous vegetables are really good for me. However, working with Dr. Becky, she is actually told me, you know, sulfur is a problem for you. So those vegetables create sulfur. You need sulfur in the body to break those down. And I don't produce very much of that. So I do have to be very careful when eating those. Um, so anyway, you get the idea. I looked at kind of my food sensitivities, got an idea. Now I'm going to jump down and look at everything else. Uh, and I just kind of glance at these. But if I see a lot of markers in an area, I stop. And I kind of examine that and look. One of the things that I always check on myself is hematocrit because, again, I told y'all I am anemic. I'm working on that. But I'm still in um, double one for a long time. So the fact that I've been taking what I need for my iron deficiency is actually helping a little bit. It's a plant based uh, because I can can't take some of these other iron builders that are you know, anyway I, I will okay it looks like we've lost her Tammy we've lost you <laughs> hopefully it'll come back on is everyone finding this helpful yeah fabulous yeah. awesome even though she keeps dropping out it doesn't i know matter. we just have to persevere don't we um okay. i'll just i'm sure she realizes that she has i'll just message her there's always something new to learn isn't there like it's interesting the way she does this yeah absolutely it looks like she's dropped out but hopefully um she'll come back on yeah, it's a little bit um yeah, frustrating. I totally feel her pain when I was when I was on the road. It was so hard because you just you never know the quality of your uh, of your signal, unfortunately. Um is there any questions of um anything that's come up so far? Um I don't know whether I'll be able to answer them for you, but I can try if anyone has any anything coming up until you can't tell um, me. Mm. Sorry, just wanting to know what the second column is like. Where All right, the majority everybody of the there again. Are. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Um, that's okay. No worries. Um, sorry. I just asked if anyone had a question. Michaela asked something about the second column. Um, as we were going, yeah, no worries, Tammy. I was just saying, I know how frustrating it is when you're on the road. <laughs> um, so Michaela, the second column you were asking about. Yeah. So you've got the first column's got the majority of the numbering in it. And then in the second column, every now and again, randomly, there'll be a number. They're the, they're the out of range ones. So that you'll always find that they're the orange and the reds. Yeah. Um, so they're showing, they're just drawing your attention to the fact that they're out of range, whether they're ones and or nines or ones or twos or eights or nines. And that's yeah. just showing you, yeah. And it says up the top out of range as well. But what um, does that actually mean? Okay, so um, as Tammy was going through there, you could see that she said on a couple of things, um, you know, when there was a one, that it's a little bit low and that she might need a little bit more of that. So that can be the case. Yeah. Um, so a one and a two can mean that. Um, it can also mean that it's a chronic thing. It's something that you've had yeah. for a while. Um, okay. The other scale is that it's, and, it, and it's described as diminishing function risk on your actual report. And so... Are you a practitioner at all or? No. Okay. Um, so in kinesiology, we explain it as an under energy. Okay. Yeah. Which means that we, it's, it's having a kind of a mm, um, deflating effect on that system or the body, you know, or that, that thing. Okay. So it can mean that um, yeah. or otherwise it can mean that you need more of it. So a nine, um, no, sorry. You're having too much of it. So that would be low or high. So a nine would mean too high. Um, it can also mean an acute thing when it's nine. And it yeah. can also mean that it's like a um, more like an inflammation. Um, okay. Yeah. So it is a little bit of deciphering. Like Tammy just said in some of the foods, um, she's just messaging me. Um, just answer some questions. Uh, yeah, she's struggling. She said everyone's coming home and getting on the internet. <laughs> um, oh, no. 
Yeah. Well, it's we funny. go back to her. Yeah, I just said we'll. We'll leave her. Yeah, I just said um, we can wait. I'll just answer some questions. Um, yeah, yeah. So as Tammy said, as she was going through there, so um, her beef was a little bit high in that nine, so it was a bit acute. Um, so she was like, I know I need beef, but or red meat because of the the iron issue, but it's mm. coming up as a nine, so maybe I'm having a little bit too much at the moment, so I'll pull back on that. And of course, yep. it doesn't mean forever. It just means, you know, in the moment, because as we know, our, our scans are changing, but we're looking for that um, pattern of behavior, you know, that type of mm -hmm. um, thing that's, um, yeah, keeps sort of showing up for us. Um, yeah, she's just said she's trying, but she's, she just keeps getting <laughs> out. Um, I know when I was on the road, I used to use my mobile, like my actual phone, but I don't even know if that's a... That can be a thing over there. Um, yeah, so that's that's the one way. It is a little bit of a dance with it. You do have to kind of, yeah. um, you know, it's experience and it's looking for those patterns and those types of things. It's also knowing a little bit about what's happening for yourself as well, I've found. Yeah. So, um, and when she was in the herbs, she was saying, you know, that coriander can sometimes mean that you've got the heavy metals and you need more coriander. So if it was in the ones or whatever, you might say, oh, okay, that, that's indicating that we might need a bit more of that. Um, yeah. the other thing that it can indicate is, um, that you've just been eating yeah. a little bit too much of it, you know, so sometimes mm -hmm. I'll have a fruit or something come up because I've had a heap of it and then it's like, okay, yeah, I need to just ease back on that a little bit. Yeah. So, much. so yeah, it's interesting, um, to kind of, yeah, to dance with it. I feel like it is a bit of a dance sometimes and you sort of, um, but it's, it's all about bringing attention to it as well. And, um, yeah, I don't know, just just drawing your attention and then seeing like, so um, Tammy mentioned the hematocrit. So um, hematocrit, I don't even know how to pronounce that one properly. But that sounds she, better. Yeah, she keeps an eye on that because she knows that her iron's low. So she can see, you know, where her iron levels are by looking at that particular indicator. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. So, yeah, it's very, very cool. Um, and yeah, having that deeper knowledge of your own body helps as well because you're sort of like, okay, I wonder what that, you know, you start to connect the dots a little bit more from that perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any more questions? Have you got any any others, Michaela? Um, oh, I need to be able to be looking at the scanner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, have you, uh, you're on your phone, aren't you? I was going to say it is helpful. Yeah. I'm going through mine at the moment as Tammy's speaking um, and looking for the the different things as well. Is everyone else doing that? Because I feel like that's helpful if you can. I know some of you are probably on your phone, so it might be a bit hard, but um, yeah, I'd suggest doing that as you go. Welcome back, Tammy. I've got to make you host again. Hang on. I closed out, it. I closed out of everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, that helped. The other thing I was going to suggest to you, sometimes I found going off my phone internet, I don't even know if you can do that over there, but I used to go off my phone, um, wife, like my connect my hotspot kind of thing because that used to work better for me, but I don't know. Yeah. If that's... Okay. You're, I think you're still, are you still co-host? I am. I've see got you. my screen up. Can y'all see, see that? You? Yeah, awesome. I will just okay. mute I'll my turn the hotspot on just in case. Okay. Um, some, did you get all the questions answered about, I guess I came in and they were talking about one side or the other. Yeah, we got that sorted. So that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Any more pop okay. All right. All right. As you know, I'm anemic. So I always come here and I check my ferritin and both, you know, we've got a couple places that we see ferritin. I always check those out. This, this was a little too much energy here, but it's finally coming back down. My total iron capacity, I look at that and remember my marker. So I kind of look at that. Um, and then I jump down and I look at my different CBC to see if there's anything there that might be popping out that go, you know what, even when I'm working with clients, if I've seen a lot of reds and oranges in this area, I know that they've got, they could pause some autoimmune going on. Or it may be that they're currently ill with something. So I always kind of look at that and just kind of ask the client questions just to kind of get an idea. But one of the markers I always look at when people are ill or, or fighting some sort of an infection is the white blood cells. I also look at the monocytes, the lymphocytes, 
and the anisophils and the basophils because those are all markers you know that maybe they're fighting something that could be some sort of a virus or a bacteria or it could be something deep-seated within their system so those are areas that i always kind of look at um the omega-3s we kind of got to that point I am a bit. I've started taking it again because I've noticed it does work. Um, let's see the rest of it. And I told you about my pineal gland. So I'm going to jump down here. And remember, it was my gut that was my issue. Well, it's showing up okay here in the large intestine. The stomach seems to be okay. But look, small intestine where my issue is right now. So I'm going to take that to heart I'll make that, and think of what things could be affecting that and how I can, you know, make it better. Uh, the rest of it looked pretty good in my opinion. So I don't put pay a lot of its attention to that. But here is my digestive. So you see all the markers here. When you can see more reds and oranges in the digestive area, you know your client has, or is basically dealing with some digestive issues kind of queuing in on them is going to help you as a practitioner to figure out you know is it is it what they're eating because remember we can go back up to the food sensating an issue for the client and help to remember you know to help them kind of take those items out if they need to for a little while and it you know you might even suggest hey let's do a food you know the food scan on your the food uh the food categories prior to you eating and then after you eating so that we can see you know what is actually showing up again i'm pulling myself off a of coffee and i can tell you the inflammation oxidation markers are going down because i had lots of reds and oranges if i pulled some of my old reports you'd see it here's my ferritin again so where was it this time it's in the insulin resistance so this is letting me know it could be hormone related too so i need to dig a little deeper and see and the only way i'm going to know that for sure is if i pull the body systems and that is another scan that i also look at i'm more that scan and i kind of compare what is the body systems telling me in comparison to the inner voice and when i compare it to the vitals what am i seeing what picture am i seeing deb bruce says it the best put all these little bits of information together make some notes on the on the you know either do the spreadsheet in the emails and track it that way you know make some notes that way i've done that in the past with clients it's been very helpful but what i really do a lot of times now is I just jot things down on a piece of paper and, and I make notes on the things that are coming up all the time. So insulin is an issue for me, and I can tell you it's drink a lot of coffee with creamer in it. I need to pull myself off of that, and I'm doing a lot better with that. Uh, the last couple of days, I've made the decision. It's time to get off of it. So again, here's some more insulin mark. They end up in that. So we know that with everything, you know, in the body, we we have the ability to heal. Amino acids. I always take a look at these because we know amino acids are the protein in the, you know, the building of protein in our bodies. And without those, we're not going to do too well. I take a product. I found an amazing product that does my body very well. It's a powdered amino acid. I take it morning and evening. And it has been instrumental in me turning my amino acids. This is a little not as great. I've got some on order. It's um, I think I've been out three days now. My markers are starting to change. But they were typically all green uh, just the last few days. So I just kind of ran out of it. Digestive acids. Again, digestive is my kind of my nemesis in a way. I always pay attention to this this is really good on me actually so i know i'm doing okay with that but hydrochloric acid again i've started taking that again you can see it was low uh but it's it's finally coming up balanced again M macro minerals this is a problem for me remember i've i've had the stomach stapling so i don't absorb my minerals like i need to so i have to take extra i put minerals in my water uh, I've actually started doing seawater again. 
uh, against somebody telling you not to do it, but I know that that is something that really helps me. Whereas taking minerals in the salt or rock form just does not work for me. I don't absorb it well. I need a liquid of some sort. So I've started back on that. Uh, in the micro minerals are the same. My, now my micro minerals don't look as bad. THFR looks like one of the genes is turned on for me currently, but that's probably due to all the stress I've been. And, and then my vitamins. Remember, we saw some B vitamins come up for me, and those are the ones that are indicated. So that's letting me know my B vitamins and my anemia are tied hand in hand. So I know that I've got something going on with my my anemia. Basic physical. I just jumped through. I really. I just kind of glance through these items. Uh, the rest of this looks been working on. My cardiovascular, I need to work on that. You can just kind of eyeball the markers. You know, you don't have to get crazy about this unless you're really trying to drill down on what's going on with a client you're working on. Then you can go through each line item and see if anything makes sense to you. Um, and then here's my endocrine system. Looks pretty good. Other than, you know, you do, I got all my body parts, but this will fluctuate from time to time, depending on my stress levels. And I know that that's, you know, something on me. Here's my pineal body. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because I'm going to show you the comprehensive here in just a second. And you're going to see that. So it's all tied together. You're getting, you're getting, you're getting the story of me pretty, pretty clear. I'm sure. Norepinephrine. Here's, you know, this, your mood and sex hormones. Those all look pretty good to me. It's not horrible. Immune system function. Remember, kidneys came up for me. It's because I wasn't drinking my water like I should be in the last couple of days. Now I'm back on the kick again, trying to do all that I can. And I can tell you that a lot of these markers make sense to me because I hadn't got my water in. Liver and gallbladder. Remember, I'm on a parasite cleanse, or I've been doing a parasite cleanse. Oh, it looks like I've taxed my liver just a little bit. I do not have my gallbladder, though. So that is that is an issue. Lung function looks pretty good, um, except this arterial uh, oxygen content. This also has to do with the anemia. Um, so that is another marker. Body reproductive. Well, yeah. I am, and it does show that, so nine and seven. I am 55. That is a part of my life I'm going to right now. However, I don't have the, you know, the night sweats, and I don't, I don't feel like I have the hormone issues that a lot of women go through, but it looks like I may be headed in that direction if I don't really pay close attention to it. So it is something that I am doing. I am working on. I am taking something to balance my hormones. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm only about two weeks into that. So we'll see how my scans look after that. Collagen is another area that, um, you know, it has been a difficult thing for me to find a good quality collagen that works for me. This is not as bad as it used to be, but it still needs some improvements. Thyroid function. I have a low thyroid. Always have. But I take iodine in the morning and then in the night. And then I always recheck and make sure that my iodine levels are what's, you know, what I'm doing on me. For you know, the right thing. I do this anymore. I used to. Uh, we used to suffer with allergies. All because we've cleaned our diet up so much. We we used to take allergy medicine every morning before we'd go to work. We don't have to do that anymore because we've cleaned up our microbiome. If you've got a healthy microbiome, these allergens should not bother you. Um, and then back to the, I was just kind of run through that because if I see a lot of markers in there, I know that I probably got some things going. It probably could be from that parasite cleansing that I've been doing lately. So, but I do kind of look at some of these markers. MRSA, I don't believe I have that anywhere. I don't have any open sores anywhere. I don't have anything on my body that's indicating that. So this could be something from the past. And I may run a detox for this. Um, yeah. Out of my cellular memory. Even though I don't have any indications of it, 
doesn't mean that maybe my body's not trying to deal with it. So that's just something that I, you know, I really discuss with my clients to find out, hey, is this something that you're seeing? Are you dealing with it? If they're not, then it may be just cellular memory that they're dealing with. So let's support them and let's kick that out. Candida has been a problem for mine, for me in the past. I've been on a candida cleanse for probably a month and a half now. So my candida is actually, my candida, watch my mouth. The candida markers are actually clearing up. So this is a good thing. Um, human toxins. Remember, alcohol was brought up. Is that I'm, I'm actually doing a little better there because it was double nines for a while. Recreational drugs, I don't need recreational drugs. Maybe I've been drinking some water that I shouldn't be drinking. Electromagnetic radiation, excitotoxins, all of this. I, I really firmly believe that a lot of this is being put into our chemtrails and things like that because that's what I notice when these things are the heaviest is when we've been sprayed. Uh, same with the heavy metals. Um, you know, there's quite a bit of aluminum. All of these different ones that are showing up are definitely ones that they're actually putting into our skies here in the United States. I hope that you and in, in Australia aren't getting that, but we sure do all the time. Um, molds, since I've moved into this RV, I hope I don't have any black mold or anything like that. Uh, and it doesn't look like there's there's a few markers that I may want to watch, you know, since we're kind of in a new thing, I may track those just to make sure. And again, the parasites. Parasites, I don't know about the rest of you practitioners that are on this call, but parasites, we are seeing like, it seems like quite a bit lately. I've talked her scans, her scans, so I can't help but wonder, what are they doing to our foods? What are they sneaking into the air? What's going on? Because this is a lot of parasites and it seems like I have anywhere from five to nine of them every day on my easy scan. And I'm like, I, I've i been doing a parasite cleanse monthly for the last few months. And it's like, I just same, can't seem to kick them out. So are you guys seeing this too? I thought so. Really? All right, and then here's the viruses and things. These are very handy to look at, especially if you've got people with autoimmune diseases. Lyme is a big one. Um, Lyme here in the United States, I feel like is a um, bioweapon. They're using it against us. And th this is a very helpful area to look at. I had a client call me this morning. And she's been sick for the last three days, but I got to looking at her scans and I told her, I said, you know, if you don't, she was worried she might have COVID or influenza and the respiratory cynical virus is all lit up, you know, you've got COVID. But on hers, almost all of them were Pfizer. And I just basically told her, I think, I think what you're doing is you're going through a detox right now. And she goes, well, that makes me feel better. So then I gave her some suggestions. She'd been sick for three days. And I said, you know, why don't you do yourself a favor? I said, I know as tiny as you are, this is going to suck. But just go jump in a cold shower for 30 seconds. And then that will help to reset your... Um, nervous system, your immune system, and it might help to turn things around. She texted me just a little bit ago and she goes, it's hard to believe that a cold shower would do anything. She said, but Tammy, I feel so much better already. And I'm like, that's awesome. She goes, do you think I can do it again tonight? I said, wouldn't hurt. So this is kind of how I do. I kind of look through this. Now I'm going to jump over. I'm going to show you my easy scan again because I want to show you what things show on that scan in the comprehensive, if it'll pull up for me. Here we go. Uh, and then I'll, we'll kind of glimpse through this again. So remember, here's my, my food sensitivities. Uh, and that there wasn't much of that that I really was concerned with because it's not stuff I'm eating. Uh, but here's my pepsin. That is definitely my digestive speaking, my amino acids, my macro minerals. And my low back has been hurting, but I kind of kind of chalked that up to, um, you know, my kidneys and stuff like that. And then here were the brain nerves that showed up. 
and here's this blood oxygen. This is, has to do with the anemia. Um, here's the heavy metals, but look at the parasites. One, two, three, four, five. Parasites were the heaviest. Here's respiratory, respiratory cynical virus. So there may be something floating in the air. It could be a cellular memory. I just need to pack, you know, pack away. Pineal body. This is what I wanted to show you. So it showed up as low functioning. So one of the things that I can do is maybe I can put a Cephi dot right here on my third eye when I go to bed tonight to help open up that pineal gland. Uh, that might be something I do tonight. And then here's the stomach cross section. So again, it's showing me some indicators. Uh, rectal artery, uh, I don't know much about that. I might do some research if I feel like that comes up quite often, but I'm not gonna worry about it. But here is my low back and the T, well, it's all my thoracic spine actually. And it made me my posture because of where I'm sitting this little different chromosome markers. So you get an idea, but let's go back to my comprehensive because what I want to do is I want to kind of look my digestion a little closer and make sure that there's no markers that are consistently showing up that have showed up in the past that maybe I'm maybe not, you know, maybe I'm not really paying close attention to and maybe I need to. So I'll go into my role and see if anything pulls on that and I do this with all my clients just kind of piece everything together kind of see the picture that's going on if you know about the body if you know about the health and know what's going on one of the things I do is I make sure these all these numbers here in this corner are good because these can be indicators that something serious is going on if there's above 50 on any of these areas but so far mine are looking pretty good now here's heart interior cuts getting a little edgy there i don't like that so i'll watch that but the heart top cut looks fine uh, upper body looks fine that looks fine spine looks okay and then my legs uh my legs are something that i'm working with right now too i've got some lymphatic stuff going on this one i nine to see what disease processes that chromosome nine is responsible responsible for to kind of give me an idea now i don't have all these memorized I'm, I'm working on it but i don't have them all memorized and then chromosome 10 now that one's okay but chromosome nine is higher up in there uh, so it's one of them i'll go look at and then also chromosome eight eight and nine look like they're they're getting yeah. my eyes. I've been working on my eyes quite a bit, but I ran out of my contacts. So I've been wearing readers, so I'm sure I'm stressing my eyes out, but I have an eye. But see, nothing else really showed up in the digestion. Um, so I think what it is, is it's a nutritional issue. It's not a functional issue. Does that make sense? So if you're looking at your comprehensive and stuff came up in the digestive that way, and you've seen digestive also on the vitals, and you're seeing it in the inner voice, look in the comprehensive and see if it's a function issue, nutritional issue. So that's kind of what I do when I look at these scans. Now let's jump over to my body systems. My body systems was done some time back. I have not done another one. I don't do body systems that often. I only do it when I'm trying to drill down on something. So the last one I did, let's see if it'll populate. Can I just ask really quickly, um, where do you look up your chromosome information? I just Google it, like chromosome eight. I'll just put in here chromosome. Oh, there it went. <laughs> it pulled it right there. Chromosome eight, and I usually put disease indicators or diseases, and it will tell you some different things to look at. Um, but that's pretty much what I do: is I try to get an indication of what does chromosome eight. Okay, cool. Kind of what yeah. does it need? What does it do? 
um, anything of, of that resonates with me, then I know I need to do a deeper dive on myself. Uh, but I only, Paige, I only do things that are consistently showing up. I've not had chromosomes that just consistently show up. It's just been kind of periodic. Uh, I did have a case where I had a client that a particular chromosome was showing up and I cannot remember the one that kept showing up. And one that kept showing up consistently on this young client of mine, I finally, I thought, you know, there's something going on here. Once I did a deep dive on that, she goes, oh my gosh. She goes, you know, my, my, son, my son's um, doctor actually wanted to do some testing on that particular uh, genetic. And I told him I didn't think it was necessary, but now that it's showing up in his scans all the time, I'm thinking I need to go back to that doctor and have that genetic testing done. I said, well, I think it would be really, you know, beneficial for you, for your son, because if something consists that you could actually fix, uh, there's an amazing book that uh, uh, a practitioner on my team actually told me it's about genetic testing and a doctor put it out. If I can remember that, I'll put it in y'all's chat. I think it's a very helpful book to have. It goes over all the genetic diseases and all the things that you can do to fix them. So it goes hand in hand with our scanner and we can help people a little deeper on that. So I'll find that, I'll make a note, a genetic book and I'll put it in y'all's chat for you. I've come across that too. So I'll try and remember where I um, saw that too. But yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm gonna jump here and I'm gonna look this one was done. Reason. Well, this one's mine, but I don't know why it's not populating everywhere. But it was done some time back. But the things that I was looking for um, was that there. So I'm going to run down. So here's my digestive here. Uh, so this is this was showing me that I had some food sensitivities I needed to look closer at. And then I always look at the suggestions, reduce sugar, which, you know, and then the hydrochloric acid and chiropractic, this is all stuff. It just is a continuum on me. <laughs> so I always look at all of this and I compare with the, you know, the inner voice. Your vital for you and your client to know how to help them. Um, so I say use all of these reports, paint your pretty picture of go what's going on, and it's going to give you more indications of the things that you need to look at. Uh, let me jump down to the to the kidneys. That's respiratory and what urinary. Here's my urinary. This is what I was looking at back then. Um, and this was all the stuff that I was dealing with. So I knew that I was in adrenal fatigue. I got my stuff out of that. I'm still not quite completely out of it, but this was letting me know that the things that were chronic and that I needed to pay attention to. Um, and again, hydration, chiropractic, blood sugar and blood pressure, See, and this, this tells me all the time I need the Solex D3K2. Well, I've got to go back on a different one that I was using. So anyway, any questions that I can help you with on what I've shown you? Does that help at all? Yeah, it's been really, really helpful from my perspective. Um, does anyone have any questions I'd like to give to Tammy? Fantastic, Tammy, as usual. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Janice. And then if you if you guys are, you know, if you have these two modules open and you have uh, you know, the the database open, you can do deeper dives with that. Uh, you know, because when I scan myself on this, the things that populate, I kind of take a glance at that and, and see where do I need to tweak? Where do I need to improve? Because this just gives you even more information. Now, I don't do this all the time on myself, but if I'm looking for something, 
by golly, I'm going to jump in here and look at it. I went over with a client just recently and she goes, oh my God. And it's actually a practitioner on my team. She really didn't kind of know how to pre piece everything together. It took me three hours, but we went through her report and I showed her all the things that she could look at and it all made perfect sense to her. So it really does give you a lot of indications where you need to look, you know, so never be afraid to kind of do a, di a deep dive and look at those high causes and anything that's high percentages and long amounts of times because you know that that is an issue for you. So I always say do as much of the deep dives as you can so you can figure out what is creating the issue technology would just do uh, any questions anything i can help with <laughs> hi tammy it's susanna here i just wanted hi, to ask susanna. where where did you get that database analysis or is that something you've just collated put together yourself that you that opens up the database that opens up with phase two training okay great awesome Thank you so and much then, for coming online. It's you're been welcome. very informative. Loving it. And, Thank you. And then phase three will be your homeo energetics and your dental TMJ. Brilliant. I love the homeo energetics too because it will give you indications. It will tell you what things that you really need to work on uh, because when you hit that scan, you know, those things give you indications too as to what's really affecting your system. Mm. Uh, I've done a deep dive for me as well. So I've got thyroid issues and I kept um, scanning my thyroid, adrenals, liver as well, because my liver's involved with that. And it kept coming up with candida detox. So, yeah. and I've known candida was an issue for me, but I didn't know that connection. And so I've started on, I saw in your supplement list, the Candex. Um, do you know yeah. the, the one that you use? Is it the Pure something, Pure Form or something? Is that the name of the one you use? The Candex? No, one that works better yep. is Masszymes. Um, and it's by Bio Optimizers. Okay. Yeah. It's well, the I'm... same company that makes the yeah. magnesium powder. Yeah. It's amazing. I love it. I like yeah. it even better than Candex. And then their Young Living actually has a Candida Cleanse too that I used for a while. And I thought it was really good. But once I moved to this other, what was it called again? Uh, Candida. It's like, oh my gosh, this is even better. Babe, can you look that bottle out of the, the <laughs> bathroom? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll have, have, I have for you is how are you fitting all your supplements in the RV? Because that was a huge thing for me. I was like, oh my gosh, I had to like, borrow everything. <laughs> Yeah, wait, wait till I'll have to take a picture and send it to you guys because it is definitely funny. That was one of the things I have a whole little cabinet and underneath the bathroom and above the bathroom, all of my oh, come on, guys. Hey, Carolyn. Um, so Carolyn's just asked how to get to the inner voice. It's up on the, 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 the right on the left. It's a white bottle. It says mass size. Or or... Yeah, so Carolyn, you just literally come out of your ink scan and go into your inner and that will do it for you. <laughs> Math signs. Okay, hang on, let me just put you into yeah. Ooh, I speak of you. Ah, I can't see it. Hang on, mass zymes. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. And you reckon that's a good one? Oh, yeah. my gosh. It is so much better. And I don't know why, but the enzyme blend is fungal, amylase, bromelain, alpha, aspergillus, niger, uh, glucomyce. Yeah, right. Water. Hey, get him. Shut up. <laughs> they've been so good the whole time they've just started now that's so funny yeah yeah okay uh, so yeah. Look, looking at this homeo energetics notice the different things here now i'm not seeing anything that is in those markers that i need 
but let's run over here to my remember it was my small intestine but that didn't show up on there uh let's look at the stomach and just see because digestion is my deal. so right here neurocrine issue that's causing some of my digestion issues i might do a little bit of a deep dive on that um and let's look at large intestine uh nothing there is in the markers because you have to have 85 percent or above and the stress has got to be i think i used to have a little sticky note and i think the stress has got to be percent less than 35 yeah less than 35 yeah. and then it's got to be a five so yeah. none of these are really what i need to work with <laughs> might have some have some emotional things going on so this is just kind of what i do i just kind of look at you know these different things and see if there's anything that just goes ping 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 you need to pay close attention to that um so here's one menopause support so it's evident endocrine wise my menopause support hormones uh, and I'm in denial of that. I think, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Chromosome eight was one that was high on me. Uh, nothing really there that's causing me to question. But looky there. Mold fungus. Um, but the stress was 0%, so it's not too bad. So anyway, I that th these are just things that I kind of run through and look. But I... I don't get too worried or, you know, been out of shape about anything. And I think the heart was something. Uh, Some more emotions there. Do you, do you know what EGA detox is? Because that came up for me the other day. And I was like, I don't know what that actually stands for. EGA? Yeah. Let's see. I can't remember that right off the top of my head either no, but let's go like, in here and that... we are going to look at it yeah um it'd be under homey energetics hey energy yeah it's taking a minute for mine to load but let's see what that says uh, when it does. okay e coli guardia giardia amoeba detox yeah. oh you know what and that makes so much yeah. sense had a bit of a tummy bug so, going remember <laughs> yeah <laughs> there you go so see you guys know you know how to connect the dots you just have to really pay attention even though our scanner is not diagnostic there are so many markers it gives us to be able to help us to know what am i looking at if something is continually showing up jot it down somewhere guys or keep track of it on your you know your uh spreadsheet that you get emailed to you when you email your to you because that is going to be real handy i have done that over and over so much now that i don't even need to do it now but that's how i helped myself know what things were consistently showing up now i can pretty much eyeball my reports i can eyeball my clients reports because i know what they're dealing with and if you take a good intake you know what to look for if you know whatever their problem areas are you know, just look at the corresponding health things that could be coming up for them. And you've got your answer right before you. And don't be afraid if you make mistakes. It's, it's, you can continually go back and rescan and redo, but you're not going to make any wrong decisions just by, you know, suggesting certain things for your clients as long as it's not something drastic, you know. So just know that there's nothing really bad that you can do with our scanner or even interpreting what you're seeing on the scans. Because the scan's going to tell you that even the inner voice and the body system is going to tell you spot on what they're dealing with. Um, so use those reports to your advantage. And the same with the dental and TMJ. You could do a dental scan and you know each tooth has, you know, as part of that meridian structure, that will give you indications too as to what they've got going on in their body. So use that scan too if you've got that open. Um, it's very, very helpful and it gives you a well rounded approach. Yeah, definitely. 
Very cool. So do we have any more questions? Anyone, anyone? Just um, so how do we get to level two and level three through the university thing or? Yeah, that's right. So um, yes, they are, um, you've got your basic training and then you've got level one, level two and level three. Um, so I think level one's around about 149 US. I think level two might jump up to 200 and something US and level three is 495 or thereabouts, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, so when you're ready, you can open those ones up. Right. The reason they did that is because, um, as you can see, there's a lot of information and sometimes it, um, you need the extra, well, you definitely need the extra training so you understand it and that you're not sort of yeah. going to the head office every five minutes going, oh, my gosh, you know. <laughs> How do Break I do out. this? Yeah, exactly. So that's what, the way they've done that. Um, and you know what, like, I've literally only just started to dabble in it and I've had the scanner for three years and I've had that unlocked for over a year now, probably 18 months. And um, I've literally just started doing the homeoenergetics and um, I do run dental and TMJs quite often, but um, you know, as for diving deeper with it, I probably just haven't done as much as I could have. Um, so it's not that you really need it to, <laughs> you know, to do it. I would say get really familiar with your basics. And then if you want to dive deeper, go for it. Um, yeah. It's necessary um yeah yeah it's still very there's there's more you know, than I, <laughs> in those levels you know in the in the basic before you yeah go further yeah I had some QLAs uh, recently asked me how long does it take to get through the university training and I said if you're real committed you could get them done in a morning and an afternoon you know two sessions you can knock yep. them out it I doesn't take a yeah yeah doesn't take long no. no it's um yeah but you also want to be able to have time to digest the information as well so I kind of took my time with each of the levels to try and integrate it a little bit but then yeah, yeah. also life happened and then I kind of like oh I can't remember all the details so myself and actually Amanda Addy we're going to go back make a commitment and go back and do the the training together again just to refresh it and then try and bounce off each other a little bit as well to sort of um bed it down a little bit more too but it's just using it as well I guess yes. yeah it is beautiful all right. Well, if there's <laughs> more questions, we might let Tammy go. Thank you so much, Tammy, for your time. Thank you. Um, you are so welcome. You. And, um, yeah, we can't wait to see you over at Day of Discovery. <laughs> We're going to have a few few Aussies there, so it's going to be so much fun. And, um, yes, thanks so much for joining us. And, um yeah, if you do find that uh, genetic thing, the book, I, I just had a quick look, but I couldn't okay. find it in my my details. But I'll um, yeah, it'd be great if we could get that. That'd be really cool, I think. And thank you from New I'll Zealand as well. Hope everybody forgets a little old New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. you are so welcome. And thank you. also look for my PowerPoint, and I'll try to put that in the group too for you guys, since I wasn't able to find it quickly um that's fine and i knew my connection wouldn't work so i apologize for my connection but i will soon i think we're going to do starlink and it will actually be very i'll be able to connect so uh, I, I told Beck, i said i hope i'm ready i think i'll be connected <laughs> No, so it's been you. amazing. Thank you. Thanks for persevering. And I think everyone got a lot out of it regardless of that. So thank you so much. All right, everyone, have a great weekend. See Thanks you later. Then. Bye.